very significant day. Explain to us what's going on in your mind. Uh, you know, I'm waiting uh, to see how uh, things have happened. Actually, this is a happy day for me because I have been working with uh, uh, President Soli as a political uh, platform for a long time. We have uh, crossed so difficult days, as you know, that when, when I was in MDP. Anyway, uh, I think he is one of the best uh, the president for the Maldives. And he have a lot of, I mean, the feelings of what the Maldivian want to have. Last 25 years he have been serving with this, uh, our uh, parliament. Within the parliament he have very good experience how to run the government, how people want in the Maldives, how is democracy, what is our religion said, all these things. And this is the time that everybody said that uh, we need a change. But I think, I, I myself, I'm telling you, uh, uh, I have seen that President Yamin also, uh, the person who built this country very well. And of course, opposition says so many things, but anyway, we have seen uh, last uh, five years, we have a very good uh, development of the country. I don't uh, really want to uh, stop that development, it has to continue. But development will continue with the democracy, with human rights, with, with rule of law. All these points that President Soli raised in his acceptance speech, and we saw the crowd even reacting when he's talking about the judiciary need for reform, he's talking about the money that had been lost and how that had to be found. He, he talked about various promises that had been made in the campaign. This, I have an, uh, some experience I will let you know. After this new uh, uh, the amendment, amend constitution, uh, we have, uh, when we are in uh, MDP, we talk a lot about Gayum's government. After President Nasid came, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing can prove about corruption, about death in a prison, about FPID, about uh, our, uh, so many things, about how Gayum has done. Nothing will happen. Then they talk about MDP. After uh, 2000, uh, 12, of course, uh, the government lost for MDP. 2012, and the, we call the coup government. We call that. Yes. The coup government came. Within this period, they call MDP government. They blame anti religion. They blame corruption, everything. But, but, but just to look at today's development, no, no, we no, saw no, three uh, presidents no, one mm, who you call yeah. the, the coup president, mm, President Vai, mm, President Gayu, mm, President Nashi, yes. and the new president, yes. Soli. Uh, is that a message? that uh, the country is actually going to move forward. I now. don't want this happen to be just uh, for political advantage. I want to show the real things to the Maldives. So they, they said MDP, uh, so many stories about MDP, but nothing will happen after uh, President Yamin came. Five years he finished. He said, uh, Nasid will be, did this. Nasid have corruption, nothing will happen. So I don't want this will happen again. If there is anything... So you're saying that there should not be a witch hunt, uh, yeah. per se. Yes. If anybody has done something mm. wrong, yeah. according to the law, the process should mm. be followed. Is yes. that what you're saying? Yes. And of course, we all believe our judiciary must reform. Absolutely. But it, it, judiciary itself, it can't reform. Judiciary can reform with the parliament, yeah. with the government, mm. and people of or all Maldivian have to respect our judiciary. Not to go with money to pay the corruption and get the get the uh, get what they want. Not from that. Again, if I can just talk about the symbolism of today's event. Mm. Now, this is a replica of the majlis that has been made here. Since you wanted the people to be involved, you had it in an open stadium. There were about ten thousand normal people, mm. apart from the VIPs present as well. Uh, twelve uh, total twelve thousand. This is a uh, this is the first time in the Maldives we had this uh, such a big. A crowd, we take this earth ceremony, and uh, this is actually a huge work. But I, in this time, I want to thank you for uh, Indian government and also a prime minister of India who uh, came and joined with the small Maldives to, uh, I mean, the value our country. This is very, uh, I mean, the bright signal that we have that Indian prime minister came here and also other uh, uh, head of states and dignitaries as well. This is going to be my next question now. President, uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi has not come here entirely during President Yamin's time. I don't think they even talked on the phone. As soon as the election results came out and then when uh, President Soli was declared the winner, they talked twice. There was an invitation and it was accepted. What does that tell you about uh, 
India, Maldives. Look, nations. India is the country that we have to depend always on India, uh, not only political way and as a democratic way and so many uh, things about like November 3rd, 1988, all these days, any other, uh, any, any, any of these crises came to Maldives. We have, uh, I mean, we need, we always getting help from India. I don't know, uh, last four or five years, India and Maldives go very far. Our friendship gone very far, connection gone very far. This is not what we want. And in democracy, even though the government is there, uh, all this government must have a good understanding together, especially India. It, it, it's it, one of the reasons because President Yamin is seen to have got too close to China. That, that's why the distance between India and Maldives. I became. think it's not only the China, it's the diplomacy. Yeah. Diplomacy. S said, oh, which country that, uh, other, even though China uh, is close, the, what you said. But how many, how many times uh, Yamin went to China and do this? Only, I think, we have but a business relation with the China. Other than debt that, amounting, some say at least three billion dollars of debt because of uh, the Chinese. As a parliament deputy speaker, yeah. I don't want to say any okay. of these figures. Right. And this is how the opposition said. Yeah. But I just want to show this, uh, and now current government, uh, President Sauli must prove that. It, it not, I don't want this to be a story like that. Again, we, we people want. You're that. saying because this is a coalition, he will need to keep this coalition mm -hmm. together. And, and, and the coalition I have experienced, I'm always saying that I have still no much guarantee whether this coalition will remain. I have. But last, you know, my political career uh, from 2004. Uh, I've been with these politicians, I know what they talk, and I pray for God that they can be together and do something for this country. I mean, in this, this uh, last, from 2008, no coalition can win here. So, like this, this will happen, so I but think... But again, no single party has also won. No, no, <laughs> no, but I know who are in this coalition. We have experienced these people. I don't want them to give more trouble to our President Soli. He, President Soli, he is a very good person. He is a very nice person and he is a very democratic person, but he is a very strong person. I will see, I want to say, President uh, uh, Ibu, uh, as my friend, don't depend, I mean, the way that uh, the coalition want. Depend the way that people of Maldives want.